there has been so much chaos, but now, at last, there is order. The aid is arriving in Takloban, and systems to guarantee everyone has food and water. Rebuilding will take years, but getting the power back online will help. No time for health and safety here. This is urgent work. And in every neighborhood, here in Armandelia Street, the people themselves are fighting back. For the Rastamado family, the battle to retake their lives starts here. Their mission to wash away all traces of the killer typhoon. With their school destroyed, the girls, Angel and Tiffany, are helping out, doing all they can. Wow, it's a mess. But indoors, their grandmother, 68-year-old Adelia, is contemplating ruin. Her brave face briefly breaks with tension and anxiety. I said, I cannot leave this place. I will stay here. You know, it's hard to live. I was born here, and I cannot afford to leave this place at my age. In reality, Adelia and her neighbors have little time to indulge in emotion. There's work to do in Armandelia Street, and they're getting on with it. Sammy is Adelia's cousin. He has a house full of mud, but he also has food, water, a homemade shovel, and plenty of attitude. Positive attitude. After the war, it's uh, peace. After the rain, the sunshine. That's all. As long as uh, still live, you have the breath, you have the breath, you work, and go, on, move on. Clearly, there's still so much work to do here, but it's through their own hard work that the people themselves are making all the difference, cleaning up and moving on, determined that their city and their region will rise again. But there is still a mountain to climb. Patella, the sniffer dog, is working flat out to find those victims who lie beneath the ruins two weeks on. A lot of these areas outside of the main streets that they were a priority to clear have not even uh, been swept preliminarily, so we're coming up with you know, dozens at a time. Dozens a day? Yes. And so it goes on. Every victim found adding to the confirmed total of lives taken by Typhoon Hayam. Jeremy Cook, BBC News, Takloban.